Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Sucker Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Sherry and the topic is, my ex still blames me for our breakup three years later. And this is what she goes on to ask me. Hi Cyber Sue, I have a problem that's been really bothering me. My ex-boyfriend still blames me for our breakup and it's been three years. He's so angry and tells anyone who will listen that I, I broke his heart and blatantly dumped him. I ended things after two years because he didn't want to get married and he knew that was super important to me. Why is he being so hurtful and why can't he move on? Thank you, Sherry. Well, it sounds like he's not dealing well with the rejection part of it. And sometimes this is just a thing that gets stuck in our egos when someone breaks up with us. It's just not what we saw happening. We didn't see it coming. He probably figured he had another couple of years before you're really going to push the issue of marriage. But he didn't listen to you. And he's probably a little bit mad at himself for that and for the fact that you left him. Because it sounds like he wanted to be with you, but the problem is not in the same way as to what you wanted in the form of a marital commitment. So sometimes when people get dumped, and in his terms here, it's it really is ego driven because they don't like the fact that you ended things with them when they thought everything was fine. And so sometimes if they don't deal with what truly went on and take part in the ownership of why it broke up, they'll hold on to the anger until they do. And he's not dealing with it. He's not really looking at the whole picture as to what actually transpired. It's pretty clear and you told him what was important to you. So he has to really sit down and think about what is it that he's angry about? Is it because he doesn't feel he had proper closure? He doesn't really get why you did this? Why you ended things? Is he, does he have some stuff from a past breakup that's coming back and making him insecure and feeling mad about it? Is there something that he's angry with himself about that maybe he can't commit to marriage? Maybe he really wants to, but he doesn't know how to, or there's something stuck in him. It's important for him to have the closure, but it's not your job to make him feel good about himself if he doesn't get what you told him in the very beginning. Now, to be kind, I would suggest to you that you talk to him, maybe set up a chat with him and just sit down and, and go over it again. Because sometimes when you hear it at a later date as to why, it comes out softer, it comes out with more reasoning and he might be able to sort of have more clarity. Maybe he just thinks that you just didn't want anything to do with him, you stopped loving him and everything else. It's not that, it's because he didn't fulfill his end of what you guys had discussed when you went into your partnership together. That's what's missing, but he's not understanding that. And so I would suggest that you sit down and talk to him and just say to him, hey, come on, what's going on here? Why are you, you know, trashing my name and being mean about everything? It's been three years. You know, what do you need from me? What can I do to make this easier? Maybe he needs to talk to someone professional. And that's not your job to try and fix him, but maybe that's something he needs to do. He might need to have a you know, in-depth conversation with somebody neutral that can help him understand where the anger is coming from. Because after three years, he should have started to move on a while ago. So there's something stuck and there's something that he's afraid of or he's angry that maybe, I don't know, he didn't get the, the, the whole reason why you left. I don't know. But I think it's always good to sit down, even though you want to smack him, I'm sure, sit down and just have a chat with him about it if, if, he'll, if he will see you and just say it's not okay to keep tarnishing your name like this it's not okay and it's not okay for him to have this anger in him he needs to try and figure out what it is you know it's really important to understand when you have a set thing that you don't want to get married you need to know why that is what is the reason that you're adamant about that because maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's something there that he hasn't dealt with or something that is very hurtful to him from his past or maybe for his family. And that can really keep you stuck and have you in this one sort of direction of thinking. 
And that can also make him angry because he is thinking to himself, well, I just let a really good girl go, but I really loved her. And it was, why can't I come in? And so he takes that anger and puts it out there more than he should, rather than dealing with it and getting to the root of the problem. So thanks for writing, Sherry, because, you know, that is a good question. And, you know, good for you for sticking to your, your beliefs and what you want and making it happen. I don't know what's happening with you now in another relationship or anything like that, but I understand why it's frustrating for you because you, you, you were going for what was true to yourself and you stuck to that and he's making it difficult for you, the decision that you made. And that's not a healthy way to move on for either of you. You both need a little bit of closure here. So thanks so much, everyone, for visiting me here at Cypress Stew today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear, hear from you. And if you have any great show topics, send them my way. Thanks, everyone. Take care.